if you are new to Plastic SCM, there are probably a, a few concepts that are worth to map from previous version control systems you might use. Well, to be honest, we version control developers tend to name things differently. I don't know why is the, that reason, but that's the reality. So let's start with checking. Well, in Plastic SCM, we call checking to what Git calls commit or perforce called submit. So it's sort of just putting your files into version control. Then, as a result of every check-in or commit in Git jargon, we create what we call a chain set. That's also uh, known as a chain list in perforce terms. Basically, is the new change you just made. You'll see there like the group of files you just checked in. Then we have the update operation. In Git, they call it checkout, and in perforce, they call it sync. And it means basically downloading the content from a branch or chain set into your working copy. We call it update. Now we have checkout. As you see, we call checkout to basically telling Plastic, hey, I'm going to edit this file. This doesn't have an equivalence in Git, and it's a little bit confusing because the checkout, what we call checkout is what they what they call, uh, I mean, their checkout is our update, and then our checkout doesn't really have an, an equivalence in, in Git. It's basically, as I said, just telling Plastic, I'm going to, to modify a file. It's not mandatory to work in this mode, except if you are working with locks. If you want to lock files, then you need to check them out first. Then, name brand, names for branches. We call main well, what is master in Git, and it's also main in Perforce. Mm -hmm. A repository where all versions and branches and merges are stored, we call it a repo. Git calls it a repo too, and it's depot in Perforce. Mm -hmm. And then workspace, which is known as working copy or working tree in Git, and it's a workspace in Perforce. So thank you and hope it was useful.